You heard him. He told me to suck eggs. You know, if we were friends, he would have suggested I suck something more pleasant. <laughs> Just wanted to drop this off as a little thank you for Amy. Well, what's this for? Your idea really helped me out. My white cone quantization paper's online already. The response has been amazing. Well, that's fascinating. I can't wait to read it. Yo, no, me as well. Uh, please email it to Sheldon at bazinga.biz. <laughs> Why dot biz? Because I just gave you the business. <laughs> and also bazinga.com was taken. Anyway, thanks again. Koopa, suck eggs. <laughs> Since when do you help out Barry Kripke? Well, I've been thinking about a cellular automata approach to neuronal connectivity, and I thought it might have some interesting applications to string theory. It's not a big deal. Oh, really? When I was doing string theory and hit a dead end, why didn't you try to help me? I did. You said the only math biologists know is if you have three frogs and one hops away, that leaves two frogs. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That does sound like me. <laughs> Started with a big bang. But that doesn't mean that you should be standing on street corners, handing out your math to whatever guy comes along. Sheldon, we're all scientists. I helped out a fellow colleague. You're being petty. I'm being petty? You know Barry and I have a professional rivalry. You heard him. He told me to suck eggs. You know, if we were friends, he would have suggested I suck something more pleasant. <laughs> well, what's going on? I'm mad at Amy. Did she leave pit stains in your favorite crop top, too? No. She helped Barry Kripke make an advancement in string theory. Oh, that sounds like a good thing. Well, it would be, except that I left string theory because I decided it was a dead end. Yeah, and then she went behind my back to help someone else prove me wrong. My rival, no less. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm sorry I didn't have a camera. <laughs> Why would she do this to me? Well, I'm sure she didn't upset you on purpose. Besides, aren't you the one who says there's nothing more important than the advancement of science? Well, no, I said there's nothing more important than me advancing science. <laughs> all right, well, if I'm understanding this right and all she did was help out another scientist, I'm thinking you might have to let this one go. Oh, let it go. I have heard that my whole life. Every time something upsets me, somebody says, let it go. You know, like, it's my fault, and it's not okay to feel the way I feel. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, why don't you talk to her? Is that all you have? Shopworn tidbits like talk to her and let it go? Gee, Penny, life's giving me lemons. What should I do? Well, you could shove them somewhere. <laughs> the mystery, the mystery that all started with a big bang.